Hello, this video will provide you with full use and operating instructions for Cargo Data's Lightning NFC Temperature Recorder. Your Lightning NFC Temperature Recorder was placed on a shipment in the plastic bag that you see here. This bag is designed to keep the temperature recorder dry when used with iced loads. Key features to note on the temperature recorder is the blinking green light which indicates that the recorder is still monitoring temperatures. You will also note that the on word is visible on the LCD. Once the recorder has arrived at destination, you may press the stop button to discontinue the monitoring process. You will hear a beep which indicates that the button has been pressed successfully and the word done will appear on the screen. To reach the Lightning NFC app download site, simply place your smartphone or your tablet directly on top of the NFC temperature recorder. You will note that the recorder will automatically direct your smartphone to the browser and you will be able to see the download site for the app. Once you have read the conditions of app download, press the install button. Once the Lightning app has been installed on your mobile device, click on the icon and enter your name and receiving location. You can use voice activation or the keyboard. Test. Corporate office. Once the setup information has been entered, you will arrive at the home page. You also see the three dots which indicate settings. This will give you, a, and we're, we're going to adjust settings right now. This will give you a chance if you wish to edit the settings. We previously entered test and corporate office. You can adjust whether you wish to view the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit how you wish to have the date displayed, whether you wish uh, military time or AM PM time. All these settings can be changed at any time and saved. You may now download the temperature recorder. That is accomplished simply by taking the recorder and holding it back to back with your smartphone device. It will load the data and then immediately display the chart for the trip. You will see here there is a 24-hour period displayed. To see later periods of the chart, simply press the arrow and you can move ahead to later segments until when the end button was pressed. If the stop button was pressed mistakenly before the end of the trip, you may press on the show after stop button Oops which will display data collected after the stop. Now since I pressed the stop button a few minutes ago, you'll see there is a dotted line with a few more samples collected. The Lightning NFC app gives you the opportunity to enter the desired temperature range for any shipment. You can do this by moving from one screen to the next by swiping or you may press the tab indicator like this. To enter a temperature range for this shipment, simply press on the down arrow and a screen will pop up. You will see there are some default temperature ranges entered or listed. You can also hit the add new button to enter a new range. In this case, we'll say the desired range is 31 degrees to 35 degrees. If you wish to use this temperature range for a future shipment, you can actually save this to the internal database by pressing there and then click Save. You will now note that a green band is displayed which shows the desired temperature range you just entered. 
by swiping to the details page, we see that the green part of the graph shows the percentage of time that it was within range, which is listed as 89%. The red portion of the pie chart indicates it was above range or warmer for 11% of the time, and below range 1% of the time, indicated with the blue. You will note also there is a chart that provides the amount of time that the shipment was at any given temperature. We will now move forward to the screen where we can enter shipping information about this particular shipment. You can swipe or press on the tab to arrive at the Add Info screen. At the top is the name and receiving location that was entered during the setup portion of the app. And there will be additional fields here that may be entered for this shipment. If it is a large facility and you wish to enter the door number where the product was received, you may enter that there. You may enter the purchase order number. Simply tap on the field. You can use the keyboard or voice activation. ABC456. You can enter a pulp temperature. We'll say a pulp temperature in the shipment was 33 degrees. Next. A scorecard, if you have a numeric scoring system in your company, you can enter a score, 5. Next. If you wish to enter any comments for the shipment. This shipment arrived in good condition. And done. This information is now permanently saved with the temperature record. By clicking on the camera icon at the top of your screen, you now have an opportunity to add photographs of anything, uh, of any condition or of any size or quality issues for items on your shipment. Simply press the sign. The camera function will be enabled and you can take a picture. You'll then have an opportunity to save or delete the photo. You may add up to three pictures. If you, when you're finished taking pictures, you may return to the main screen by pressing on the lightning NFC icon, and you are now back to the information screen. The Lightning NFC app is programmed to upload all data from your mobile device within 30 minutes of the record being completed. You may also use the cloud button, the cloud with a small up arrow. You can force the information up to the cloud immediately by pressing that button and it will say upload started, upload of the photo, and then you will receive a finished message. This entire temperature record can now be viewed online at the lightningnfc.com website in the uplink field. The record may be found by typing in the six-digit temperature recorder ID number which is listed at the top of the screen. That is the same number which was on the temperature recorder on the label. This is the same number that is also listed on most shipping documents like the bill of lading, passing, or any other documents that may have been related to your shipment. Lightning NFC app includes a feature which allows you to send an email recipient a link to the online archived temperature record for this shipment. Simply press the email icon in the top right corner. Your smart device will ask you which program you wish to use for emailing. A form letter will be created that includes the PO number that you entered on the information screen. And all you need to do is add the name of a recipient or their email address, and then you may send the record. Your email recipient will then have access to the full temperature record including photographs of the shipment. At any time, you can review previously downloaded records simply by going to the home page by pressing on the lightning icon. 
you'll see that there is a history folder. And the previous 100 downloaded temperature records will be displayed. Obviously there's just one on this new downloaded app, but to review the record, simply tap on it and we're back to the chart screen. Click the Lightning NFC icon again to return to the home page. Thank you for using Lightning NFC smartphone enabled temperature recorders from Cargo Data Corporation.